One, two, three. Welcome to our podcast. It's gonna be a blast. The topics we will cover are gonna be the very vast. The two of our personalities kind of contrast. Referring to verse one, this line is last. We're singing this song. It won't be long. Wubba lubba lubba, ding dong. It feels kind of wrong, but I know it's right. Get that dog out of my sight. We're singing the song. It won't be long. Wubba lubba lubba, ding dong. Feels kind of wrong, but I know it's right. Get that dog out of my sight. Rap break! Hey you, yes you, don't fall out of your canoe. Don't get the flu or be blue. Just listen to the sounds of the sweet, the sweet kazoo. Where, where's the kazoo? The kazoo? Where, where's that? I Noah. Hi. No, there's, there's the kazoo. The kazoo is not here. I cannot find. I can't. I can't find. I can't find the kids. Just it go was back. On go your back. desk. We back, back to the course. This right before. Shh. Back, back to the course. Back to okay, the course. Okay, okay. Sorry. We're singing this song. It won't be long. Wubba lubba lubba. Ding dong. It feels kind of wrong, but I know it's right. Get that dog out of my sight. We're singing, We're singing this, this song. song. It, it won't, won't be, be long. long. Wubba lubba lubba lubba, lubba ding, ding dong. dong. It feels, feels kind of wrong, kind of wrong but I know, but it's, I know right. it's right. Get, get, get that, that dog, dog out of, out my, of sight. my sight. Beautiful. That was really thank good. You, thank you. Thank you very much. We'll be here all night. Uh, no, we won't. We're we're done now. That that was it. Oh, sorry. I wish we were here all night, but that's no, nope, we're not. I was I was quite enjoying that. I was okay. Yeah, that was that was pretty good actually. I'm I'm proud of ourselves. I think I think this whole duo thing is definitely going to take off. Certainly, certainly, absolutely, hundred percent. With this, um, also. Uh, if you guys like, if you have, um, a friends that like don't they they like, they have made it clear that they listen to extremely alternative music and whatever music you don't like they will like. Give them the song. Oh yeah, I, this is the most alternative that you can get. Right, right. It's, yeah, it's alternative from any other form of music because all, most other forms of music are actually good. So if right. if if you have a friend that's l- loves that indie stuff, that alternative music. Show them this, and they will love it. I guarantee it. Guaranteed. Yeah, definitely. Because, uh, yeah, other music tries to use, like, conventions and, and like, harmony and whatnot. And rules. And, <laughs> right. We don't do that. No, we here, break rules here on the Super right. Boy No Mitch We podcast. We break barriers. We break the, the social barriers that have been built by society for thousands of years. Yes, that's what we're here to do. Okay, yeah. so mm-hmm. we're back with another episode, and we finally did our song. So you're welcome, everyone who wanted that. I know mm-hmm. he was much better than you thought he would have been. Um, so we just have a few items to follow up. One of which right, is right. last episode. Uh, we mentioned your pod, not your podcast, your adventure map, and right. then not until after I was done editing it, exported it, and uploaded it, I was like, wait a second. There's a lot of people who are listening to this that don't even know about you or your adventure map. So, basically, do you want to explain your adventure map to them uh, and why yeah. it's such a conflict with a personal it's conflict a, with yourself? It's a personal conflict because it's uh, it's a Minecraft map that I started on a few years ago, and uh, it became an incredible undertaking because of the ambition and sheer size that I was planning and determined to make the map. But as I had to keep having to update it uh, through every Minecraft update and each of like the, the layers of like command blocks and like, you know, just work went on top of each other, it became a mess and it was impossible for me to be able to handle by myself. It mm-hmm. ate up all my time. And so uh, people are not very happy because I didn't finish it. And yep. 
as sorry as I can be, it's not going to get finished. So that's that's why there's a conflict with that. And I don't I don't even like talking about it because it's such a sensitive subject around my channel. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So uh, for those who didn't know that that's what we were talking about when we referred to the adventure map. If you you know in the future, if we ever mention that, you know what's up now and why it's a thing. Okay. So. One really cool thing of follow up is that we finally have our first Patreon pa patron, Whoa! and and uh, as you can obviously tell, it's it's Malcolm Spencer. Malcolm Spencer. I think we both knew that it was going to be the first person to. We love you, Malcolm Spencer. Yes, we do. We we love you with a passion, um, but not with passion. It's not just with passion. With a we don't, passion. We don't passionately love you. We just yeah, no. there's a passion behind our there's, love that we have exactly, for you. Exactly that one. But I think I think it was obvious that if anybody was gonna be the first person to pledge on Patreon, it was gonna be Malcolm Spencer. So not really. I I thought it was gonna I thought it was gonna be Google. I thought Google was gonna sponsor us. Oh my gosh! Why didn't they? Why because, haven't they done that yet? Because we don't have enough advertising. We need to, oh we need to start yeah. buying ad space. Should we do that? Should we get on? Yeah, that? on YouTube. You know yeah. all those channels. That have like uh, content that isn't like appropriate for ads. We're yeah. gonna volunteer to add on those because th there's got to be a huge demand for it. Yeah, there has to be. We are going to we are going to specifically search for controversial and and dark videos that you wouldn't want ads on, and we're gonna put ads on there. And Google's gonna sponsor us. I yeah, know yeah. It. You mean you mean we'll put our ads on there? Yes. 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 Come listen to our podcast. We know what stuff you're into. You're on this video right now. Uh, mm -hmm. so come to our podcast. You'll love it. Trust me. And then definitely, and then they'll just continue on to the video. This is very smart. It is very smart. Whew. That was the end of follow up. So, Hey, well, well, yeah. How, well, hold on. What? How much what? Did, uh, did, did Malcolm pledge? He's pledging. Wait for this $3 a month. So three U S dollars, everyone, three, three United States dollars, which is much hold better on. than Canadian dollars and much how, how? worse than, uh, euro what how much is that um how much is that in uh in europe dollars that's hmm. 2.67 europe dollars 2.67 how, how much how much is that in in canada dollars that is 4.02 canada dollars. oh my gosh everyone. we're getting 4.02 dollars every month from malcolm spencer in canada yeah. in canada so. Yeah, you can make money by switching countries if you guys didn't figure that out. It's a pretty yeah. interesting trick. It's super awesome. Um, life hack: work in a different podcast. country. Unless you okay, if you live in Canada, work in the U.S. and you get money. Work in the U.S. or live in the U.S. Work in Canada, you'll lose money. So yeah, it's a you know, it's a it's a it's a toss. It's a gotta gotta go and make the decision yourself. Right now. Now that we're making three dollars a month, that means it's even more that we we can uh, keep it up longer. Yeah. So that's gonna be fun. That's cool. It's so pretty, pretty sweet. When I was thinking of topics to think or to talk about, I was looking around my small little officey space room. Not space room. It's not a space room. My office space room. Okay. And I looked behind me and I was like, "Hey, I have a collection." And so I was like, "Hey." Uh, this is a good topic. So, in regards to collections and collecting things, have you ever started a collection, or are there things that you like collect? Or oh, oh, certainly, certainly. Um, well, any sort of like drawing or art, I think people collect, but they usually stick it in a box. I have like a wall of art. I think a lot of people do that too. Yeah. Uh, just behind my computer, just tons of art that I I don't know. I've drawn. Somebody else has drawn. It doesn't even need to be drawn. It could be digital. Mm -hmm. I just have a random poster that isn't even really related. Is I don't know. It's just kind of a. It, it's not quite a collection, but rather an excuse to hoard things. I I used to have rock collections all the time as a kid, but I I think I still have a few jars. It got rocks? kind of excessive at at a certain point. Yeah, because you Yikes. start out with these few very valuable rocks that you get, and you're like, these are so nice. And they're so but shiny then, and amazing. The, the objective no longer becomes get super nice rocks and keep them. It becomes just collect rocks. So just, if anything mm -hmm. is even like an okay rock, you're like, yeah, I have a collection. I'll just throw it in there. 
And before you know it, you have like five boxes of rocks. So yeah, five. You could say that you have five rockses. <laughs> yes, certainly, <laughs> Noah. Have you had any any collect? Oh, hold on, I have a bottle cap collection, but that's oh, you do? boring. Yeah. That, what do you mean that's boring? That's better than rocks. It's like a plastic bag. And most of them are from alcoholic beverages, which I did not consume. But that's just about the only place I can I can get them from. Huh. Well, um, I'm glad that you're not drinking alcohol. <laughs> no. Okay. The No Witch and Super Nintendo Boy podcast does not condone underage drinking. Speaking of alcohol, I have a bottle collection, which is why I I thought of this topic. Uh, there's hey. there's just a few few bottles. I'm currently going over to it, and I'm bringing my microphone with me. There we go. I'm right next to the bottle collection, Mm -hmm. and I have some from cool Japanese sodas. I have one. I have one from, like, two from bottled root beers. I have a sparkling cider one, one from a sparkling drink that is grapefruit i have a cider bottle like uh it's a crispin natural hard apple cider 9.5 percent alcohol by volume uh you guys can't see any of these but this one has a the it has a cool like um beveled sticker which is why i kept it and then i have this wine bottle that has a really cool beveled label as well so it's a pretty small collection. Um, I used to have more until they all fell and broke like 12 of them. So, you know, you win some, you lose some. Yeah, exactly. So exactly. most are they all glass? They're all glass bottles, absolutely. I also have like a, 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 a bottle that is from like Huckleberry Syrup or something. Yep, oh. wild Huckleberry Syrup. It's pretty cool. It's like a, it's like, I can't. Ah, I'm I, I can't explain what it looks like, but I almost fell over in my chair because, um, you know those, those carpets like the that have a road on them like a town. Yes, I the do. kids have. So I have one of those, and that's what's in my office. No way. And I have I I have a wheelie chair, and it's <sighs> really annoying because it gets stuck on it. But yeah, did you did you have one of those when you were a child? Uh, what are those carpets? No, I don't think so. Uh, I, I wish I did. I think wherever I went to school when I was very young um, had one and just other people's houses and they were so cool. I wanted them so bad for Legos because I wouldn't have to build a scene. I could just build the buildings and it's like... And mm. put them... Yep. And then you, you'll have the roads that makes and stuff. sense. Yeah. 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 That's exactly. what I did with them. But yeah, now I just keep it because it's it's funny. Uh, because this is like super iconic, and so I just have that. So back to collections. Uh, I did have a rock collection back a long time ago. I think like every boy had a rock collection. At least started one. Mine wasn't yeah. super extensive, and as you said, it started with finding a small like a really cool rock that was like shiny and like brown and like a pinky color, and then yeah, I, that I, started I, I, everything. And then I just started getting a bunch of big rocks. So, yeah, that's like – that. and then I just stopped doing that. But I think other than those two collections, I haven't really had any collections. Um, but as you said, I also have artwork and a bunch of random things that I just put on up on my wall because I thought that was – that's it's pretty cool, actually. I like it. Um, but I have some things that my niece and nephew have drawn up there. Uh, I have some things from events that I've gone to. And some things that I've made. So, it's pretty nifty. Um, and if you want to see what Tendo's wall looked like in 2015, in August of 2015, uh, there's a video that we did together uh, when we were there. Uh, yes. So, you can go look at that in the description and see what his wall looks like. It was so pitiful and small. How many... Do you have a significant... Wait, wait. Us or your wall? No, the wall, the wall, yes. The wall was so much smaller. <laughs> yes. <To> be, <laughs> yeah. Well, to be fair, we both were pitiful and small back in 2015, so. <laughs> I mean, we still are in comparison to probably the next three years or whatever, you know. Yeah, I guess you're right. Hey, 
okay, we, we might come back to this in the next three years. I don't know how long this podcast is going to go. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. The next topic is is birthdays. And uh, I, I brought that up because my birthday is actually today when we're recording this. So <gasps> Happy birthday, Noah! Thank you, Tendo. Um, well, I was going to say, how do you feel about birthdays? How do I feel about birthdays? I yes. think they're wonderful. I think humans' excuse to uh, eat tons of food and just basically be super happy for no reason is beautiful. Huh. Any uh, any reason to just to throw a party and just let go, even if it's something that is as grand as, say, a birthday, but also possibly as silly as say something like i i i don't know pi day you know yeah 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 definitely i love it i love birthdays it's a i mean i'd say it's a nice celebration of life but usually it's just a bunch of people being obligated to be nice to one person which is cool too um <laughs> i don't know i i it's just birthdays they're great i love them huh funny I'm the complete opposite. I dislike birthdays for the exact reasons that you love them. <laughs> you you love them because it's a it, it's it's an opportunity to just have fun for no apparent reason and celebrate a specific person for no reason. And I hate it for that same reason because that person hasn't done anything to deserve anything except for exist. Um and that's why last year on my birthday I was an absolute grouch. That was the first year that I started like really disliking birthdays because i realized how stupid they are and overrated um and so i was really rude to everyone so that was a bad on me so i'm much better <laughs> i'm much better on this year um uh, so if somebody says happy birthday i'm just i just say thank you but uh instead of instead of me being stupid a stupid grump on my birthday every year i'm going to be happy and if people ask what i want i'm just going to say nothing because i don't want anything from anyone but I, it's it makes it's kind of frustrating for people because they like I want to get you something and like you can get me something but I don't want anything so I'm not gonna tell you anything that I'd like because I don't want anything. <laughs> See that's funny because my opinion switched as of like last year and like two years before I was in the same opinion I was like I don't want anything you know like I don't need anything I have everything I need but I like I don't know this year I kind of came to the conclusion that like no matter what happens I'm not saying you should think this way it's just the conclusion I've come to it's like no matter what happens people are gonna demand to give me something and they will pester me on what I want so um, if I don't know them that well I'm like uh, give me something that you would get for literally like anyone else like not specific to me or get me food because that disappears oh, and it food. doesn't it, it's, it's gone like, I don't feel obligated to have to keep it somewhere and be like, oh, well, this person gave this to me. I don't use it. It just kind of looks nice, but it's there. Like, no, I want to be able to put it into my body and then be done with it. Like, Forever. Tempor temporary joy, like the birthday. If it's somebody close to me, I'll be like, I actually, I don't say this. I never tell anyone this, but like, as far as like presents go, I'm of the opinion that like, if you make something or like you put time into it, that's like the greatest gift. Like I give people the like just worst looking gifts ever, but like I make them myself. And so sure they could just throw it away, you know, and I'm fine with that. But like it shows a lot more thought than like spending three hours at you know at the mall or the store trying to figure out what they would like best because to them they're like oh well you just walked into the store and you found this instantly you know like when you put when you make something it shows like definitely that you put time into it i i don't know it's kind of a long and uh strange philosophy but i just kind of mine you're i agree with your opinion your uh, view on gift giving that's I, I like giving gifts and if people give me gifts I um I will accept them and if they are handmade <laughs> then I appreciate them a lot more than if they're store bought. So that I completely agree with everything you said except I still think that birthdays are overrated. 
yeah, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> but I'm, I, it's, it's funny that you used to be like me, and now you're not like me. And I used to be like you, and now I'm like me now. So that's that's funny. Um, and so last year, uh, it would it was my, I just had just moved into my new room, that's downstairs in the basement, which is where I'm now. Um, mm-hmm. and my wall, as I was saying, with the collection and whatever and a bunch of artwork. Last year, I asked people just get me something or make me something for my wall. I don't care how much it is or how little it is. You could, I don't care. And then so. I got a lot of things for my wall and I put them all up on the wall. Uh, and so that's cool. That was, that was really fun to do. Um, but someone asked me what I wanted for my birthday. And then I said, just get me a blank piece of paper. And so they brought it to me two blank pieces of paper and they're both hanging up on my wall right now. So I'm a simple person kind of not really. No, that's... I'm very complicated, but <laughs> But I I don't know. I just love that. I just love how they asked what I wanted for my birthday. I said a blank piece of paper, and so they gave me some paper, and I hung it up on my wall. So Goodness. I could interpret that as metaphorical, but, I mean, I don't know. You could also see it as practical. It's like, oh, a piece of paper that you could use. Nope. So many possibilities. But nope. no, it's... It's just oh, on my wall forever. <laughs> that's, like, sad. Wow. It's not the only thing on my wall, Tendo. No, I don't mean like it's sad for you, but I mean like the concept of just having a blank piece of paper on your wall is like, like, I don't know. It's a very, it's a, it's a metaphor that could go in it's, very depressing ways. Yes. It's like a, yeah, a very, yeah. Okay. A very wow. depressing metaphor, but it's like tucked away in the corner. So I guess that's another metaphor saying that I'm pushing the depression away. Is that a, is that, am I right? Yeah. Am I, yeah. Cool. That works. that. Look at that. I'm so poetic. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, but it is currently my 16th birthday. Uh, I turned 16 at 9.49 a.m. this morning or 11.49 a.m. your time. And I thanks think for getting... gi- thank, Thanks for giving away the, the sliver of the world I might. No, I'm just kidding. Wow. I c- Fine. I shouldn't have translated it to your time. My gosh. That um. <laughs> <laughs> uh so yeah but last year uh i was coming home from school like i as i said i was a grouch to everyone and my friend thought it would be a good idea to throw me a surprise party guess guess how that turned out i bet wonderfully is that sarcasm because if so you're you're correct <laughs> it is um, sarcasm so th- my friend invited a bunch of people over uh and it was really upsetting because I, I was planning on recording an episode of 2OP. No. Yeah, it was. It was an episode of 2OP. It was on a Thursday, and that's usually the day that I recorded it. So I was going to record an episode, and then I like come home from school, and then I realized there's people here, and I'm not going to have time to record this episode. And I was really upset. So I was just like a grouch the whole day, and I was like, I don't even want you guys here. Get out of my house. Kind of. <laughs> I I actually did say out loud to everyone that was there, I don't want you here. Um, <laughs> so that was that was not the best response, and I've definitely learned that way because it made everyone sad. But it shows that you have your priorities in order, that you are determined to complete this task, and that if like anything that gets in your way, like literally anything, is a nuisance, and that shows dedication to the two op server. Yeah, it yeah it shows dedication to the to the two op server, and it also shows how much of a jerk I am. Um, but I'm I'm much better now. Uh, it's it's fine. No, <laughs> it's not fine. It's not fine. Don't be like me, like I was back in 2016. Children watching, don't be like me. Be like how I am now, and accept gifts, and think that birthdays are overrated. But don't tell people that because they will think you are an insensitive heart uh cold cold hearted jerk and behind their back burn all of the gifts burn all of them every single one i'm not going to be doing that because nobody's going to be getting me gifts so the paper that was last year that doesn't <laughs> count i'm keeping that <laughs> the, and it's attached to my wall if i burn it then it'll burn the whole house down it sounds like somebody's attached to their gifts fine i didn't say 
Ah, <laughs> just ah. <kidding. laughs> birthdays. I still find it how find it funny how you love birthdays the exact same reason I dislike them. It's usually something similar, like uh, opposite directions, but it was literally the exact opposite, <laughs> which is that's pretty great actually. So happy birthday to me, I guess. Yeah, happy birthday to Noah. Cheers. Give him extra money. Give him some birthday money. Yes. Just put it in S- the Patreon. Support us on I'll Patreon. Make sure it goes right to him. Yeah, uh, you know, just give us money because it's my birthday. I think next episode it might also be my birthday, so you should probably uh, give me <laughs> money then too. Nintendo, you have a birthday coming up like in two episodes uh, from now, right? Two episodes uh, from now, and the it, episode after that, and the episode after that. Look at that. Yeah, Everyone's gonna be certainly. Yeah, give certainly. us your money. <sighs> just kidding. Don't don't do that just because it's my birthday. Do it because you love us. Um, and if you don't, if if you don't give us your money then you don't love us and we will be very sad yeah that's okay i mean it's not okay that we'll be sad (laughs) just i'm joking you don't have to give us your money don't don't feel like you have to only do it if you want to um and also i think i'm going to be releasing the single that we recorded earlier today on the patreon for a download so if you're a patron you can get that for free and listen to it on repeat forever and ever and ever so Fun birthdays. Fun times. Fun times. This is, for you listeners, this is not the same day that we were recording before. This is actually, uh, this is three days afterward. This is the 27th of May versus the 24th, which is my birthday. So we started this episode on the 24th, but <laughs> something come up, came up and then we couldn't, we couldn't record anymore. Uh, that day. So this is you're listening to us in the future, kind of. Except not really, because this is still like a week and a half. Still before pretty far in the past. You listen yeah. to, it, but that's irrelevant. That's irrelevant. We were going to move on to the next subject. However, because of this break, I have some more things to say about birthdays. So yay. So yeah. So I've already given my opinion of birthdays. I forget exactly what I said because it was like three days ago, but that's irrelevant. Uh, but something happened. Uh, on my birthday, like two hours after we were finished recording that day, and someone had given me a bracelet that I'm never gonna wear because it's like a homemade thing. But I like felt special because they made it for me. Because you you said that you were like saying that uh like a homemade gift is better than any store bought gift. Yeah. I was, so I they gave it to me. And I was like, oh cool. So of course I I wouldn't wear it because I don't wear bracelets. Except I do have that one bracelet that you've seen. Um, yes. Actually, yes. when I met you, there's like I had like forty something bracelets. I was like gonna 40 say bracelets. you had tons. Yeah, um, but now I only have one, and my wrists have gone back to a uniform color throughout the my entire arm. So it's not just super pale there. Uh, <laughs> did I show you my tan line with when I was visiting you? I don't think. No, you did. Yeah, yeah, yeah you did. Cause I remember yeah. you were really tan. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I remember. I, I re- vaguely remember showing you the ten line. Anyway, so sh- she gave me this bracelet, and um, I was I was like, oh, thank you. Uh, I'm never gonna wear this. Essentially, Cause she said that you don't have to wear it. I did, yeah. But I was like, okay, I won't. And but I did put it on my wall. That we also explained it, talked about in this episode. So hey, win win. I got something that someone made for me. I appreciated it, and I put it on my wall with the rest of the stuff. Wow. So, Look at all those connections. Yeah, beautiful connections that happened two hours, and we wouldn't have had this story to tell if we had recorded. Um, yeah. And also, uh, something that I forgot to completely bring up until I was given one for my birthday, birthday cards. We didn't even mention them. How do you feel about birthday cards? or just cards in general, like store-bought cards or something. Um, Cards in general... Um... I really like it. I think it's a good system, like to give people a piece of paper that you can you like you write stuff in, and like if you you can tell how much they care depending on if they write in it or not, or if they really care, they'll like make a card or they'll write mm-hmm. things on multiple sides of the card, and then that's like really special and stuff. Um, yes, um, I was given after. Recording. I was given two birthday cards. One was uh, handmade, 
and it was I had a little tiny doodle and it was actually a pretty funny doodle um, and then another one was a store bought card both are good I guess I d- yeah. but after receiving them I didn't I don't really know I don't really get the whole thing about birthday cards I get it when they're like really funny but I think I think it's great when someone gives you a card like a store bought card and it has a joke in it that you find funny because then it, it makes you more respect them because it's like oh you know my kind of humor bro I like you more or something along the lines of that mm-hmm. you know what I mean yeah, yeah yeah but you don't want you don't want like a mountain of like 60 cards that just say like happy birthday on the front that oh are yeah like, yeah cards cards that just say happy birthday or just say thank you uh, I don't really I don't really like them honestly because it's 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 the same as saying happy birthday Noah it's the same it's except it's like immortalized in this card that they wasted their money on because exactly they, them them writing me a, a, a card that says happy birthday signed George it's the same as George telling you happy birthday himself but that way it doesn't you don't have any like obligation to keep it or any contention is that the word contention to like throw it away i don't think that's uh i don't know it I'm sounds googling right. the word contention because it sounds right but i don't contention there we go okay contention heated dis- disagreement nope nope not at all contention is not even nearly the same not even correct so yeah, no, you don't feel contention, which is uh, heated disagreement. So, no. Um, I guess we could have said it, and then it would have made sense in context. But now, you know, everyone knows I'm wrong, which I'm totally fine with. But now you guys know what contention means. Welcome to the, our podcast, where you learn what words mean. Woot. Woot, woot. Okay. But, yeah, it, you don't have any obligation to keep it, or you don't feel bad for, like, throwing it away. Right. If they give you this card that you don't want, uh, if they just, if you, if you, they just say happy birthday, I think that's the best way to do it. If you're not gonna give someone a card that's like funny, and if it's something that you know that they'll appreciate, because that means you know their humor, then they'll appreciate it more, and they probably won't throw it away because they find it funny. So, right. you know, birthday cards, and uh, I was gonna mention like any other type of cards like um oh um like thank you cards anniversary cards valentine's day cards christmas cards how do you feel about just giving cards in general well there's it's one thing to like uh you know have a tradition of like putting together like a christmas card and putting your family on it and you know getting this nice design and then there's like things like thank you cards or sympathy cards that like everyone is obligated to give so like you know when you're giving this to someone it's not gonna mean anything yeah because they're gonna get 50 others yeah 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 uh especially thank you cards that just like thank you uh i don't like writing thank you cards to someone who i am not really that thankful for i've done like group activities where like we're all gonna write a thank you card to this person and it'll make them feel good i'm like okay so i could either fake sincerity and like try to act like i care about this person or like am thankful for what they did or just say thank you for what you've done and then just go completely like stock remark and just say thank you and then like sign my name or something if like go something try to be sincere or just come like come out as completely insincere and like super like uh what's the word like stereotypical but like not yeah yeah Yeah. i know what you mean yeah so there's two spectrums uh so yeah i think thank you cards are probably one of my least favorite unless they're really heartfelt and only going to one person for something specific um but i don't know just group thank you cards are like the worst types of cards that anybody can write to someone because i think the people receiving them also feel that like they don't actually are thankful maybe some people are maybe some people are buy buy into that stuff but i wouldn't t- i would definitely wouldn't so yeah i know yeah. what you mean mm-hmm. and uh you mentioned christmas cards like yeah with with taking a picture of your family and like sending it to everyone 
Mm-hmm. I think our family did that like once. I don't even remember doing it. We have never done it like since. I've never remember taking Christmas photos and like sending them up to a bunch of people because honestly it's just a waste of money and nobody really cares about our family's face being on their fridge or something exactly yeah do you does your family do uh like Christmas photos uh yeah and just about everyone I know in my in my area is like (sighs) gotta take pictures and then send it out to people even though they got a billion other things to worry about in december so why even including taking pictures to send to someone else (laughs) that's yeah that's i just find that kind of i think it's overrated honestly um and you seem like you've done it every year for a long time and do you find that overrated as well Uh, yeah i mean yes don't let your parents hear that They'll, they'll if, hate you forever. Uh, Just kidding. That was. J- if it were my decision, I were independent, I wouldn't do it. But if it makes <laughs> them happy, it boosts their ego. You know, whatever, go for it. I'm not gonna tell anyone not to do something because it doesn't make me happy. You know. If it makes them happy, then I guess whatever floats your goat, right? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Birthdays. Now the segment is over. Two days later, or three days Finally. later. <laughs> Finally. Finally, it's <laughs> finally over. <laughs> What a segment. Our next topic is, um, it's a little weird. Uh, ASMR. Is it weird? Yeah. Or, oh, should we do some ASMR after we explain what it is? I'm not sure how weird it actually is. Yes, we have is to do it. We have to now. We have to. Okay, we're going to do that. Um, yeah. so ASMR. Paper. Oh my, no, not yet. <laughs> not yet, Tendo. There's a time kidding. and a place, okay. and yes, that yes, is yes. not now. I know, okay. I know. Uh, so, for those who don't know, ASMR, it stands for uh, Autonomous Sensory Meridian Response, which um, I don't exactly know what all that means, but I know the word autonomous and sensory and response. Um, I think meridian is a t- part in your brain, right? I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah, yeah I, don't know. I think so. Anyway, it's people who turn up their mic real loud and, like, whisper into it, and then it, like, they, like smack their lips and make sounds that, like, rub their mic and stuff it's it's kind of it's super weird and then it's like supposed to like give you sensations and whatever like tingles i think that's one word that is very commonly uh affiliated with asmr and is like tingles so yeah i so if you don't know what it is i the best way to find out what it is is just to google it i don't know there's thousands of channels that are just doing this and they they get so many monies so many views because they can put them out so fast but um i would suggest just looking up asmr on youtube and then just watching like one thing for like five minutes or something i don't know just just to get a feel of what it is we it's hard to explain um but on that note now that you guys kind of know what it is uh have you have you ever listened to it or like what are your experiences with asmr yeah um, I, yeah, when it, when it was first, like, a, not a thing, but, like, when it was booming, um, and everyone was talking about it because it was a trendy topic, yeah, like, I, I was dabbled in a lot of parodies of it and even, like, went out to find some stuff, but, like, I don't know, it's, it's stimulating, it gives you this, this strange feeling that I, I, I can't say is replicated otherwise, um, it's not something personally that I just like sit down and listen to for hours, but I'm sure there are people out there that, that would. Yeah. Um, I, I was looking through some cause I, I had never, I've heard of what it was, but I had never really sat down and like tried ASMR until like recently, like a week and a half ago. And there, the, some of the videos that I was seeing in the search, they're like three hours long or like an hour and a half of just ASMR people doing ASMR, which is crazy. I ah, I couldn't imagine doing it for that long. But um, yeah, I, but also when it started booming, um, also the, I, I'd seen many parodies of it and stuff. So yeah, and, and you said... I, I don't remember. I don't remember. I think you said something about it being stimulating or whatever, and then, yeah. like, not being replicated by any other form of something. I don't exactly yes, remember. Yes, I, yes, yes. That, that's not good that I remember that. You said it less than two minutes ago. Ah, <laughs> oh, dang it. Okay, that's fine. It's fine. 
<laughs> Sorry about that. It's because not everyone reacts to it. Some people just get uncomfortable and they don't actually like get these quote unquote tingles from it. I, that, that's why I'm wondering, do you get these weird sensations or do you just like, yeah, meh? yeah, yeah, no, I, 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 I get the tingle. I, I listen to it and it's like, oh, that's, that's a feeling. Mm -hmm. Um, but I have to be like in the right mindset and I have to be like relaxed and I have to like tell myself that that's what it's supposed to do. If that makes any sense. Yeah, if that I makes just sense. think that of it as like. Sense somebody whispering that i'm like this is this is weird i i'm not enjoying this yeah um i agree with you i i do get the tingles it feels weird and i kind of i like it it's like feels nice uh but i do have to be in the right mindset and when i had heard of what it was and i like heard little snippets of it i was like this is this is weird i don't uh i don't i don't get it i don't like it just makes me uncomfortable but if you just like relax and just let it like invade your senses it's like real weird and kind of very relaxing uh i don't know it's not like that for everyone but i've only seen i haven't seen much but it's Is it it's weird yeah Oh gosh. We have some we have some we have some uh some paper here. Oh, let's, let's, listen, let's listen to that rip. Oh gosh, that's not pleasant. Stop. Oh no. <laughs> Can we do anti ASMR with that has like um uh, well, I can't use the terminology that I would normally use because you wouldn't understand it. But like, where you uh, you scare you, you know your your video audience with um, with extremely loud noises that uh, peak like kind of like kind of like uh, like jump scares or like I, something. Uh, I don't exactly know what you mean by you that. Something you would know is montage parodies. Did you ever watch any of those montage any parodies or parody montages? I don't know. Montage parodies, MLG videos. Um, no, I've goodness. never seen okay, one well, of those. Well, there's there's certain genres of YouTube videos where they have, uh, I can't I can't say it, but um, like where they like rip headphone users people by randomly yes. dispersing. Yeah, like that. I have seen I have seen things that are like rip headphone users. Yeah, it's I have seen that. So mean and I want to I want ASMR to have that. Like I want all of a sudden to just like cuz with ASMR you normally turn the volume up that way you can hear every little like detail and everything. Yeah, every smack of the lips, every r rubbing of the paper, uh <laughs> every every small whisper. Yeah. That's why I turned my microphone up all the way, and that's why the the ripping of the paper was so horrid. I don't know what it sounded like on the mic. Uh, that's gonna be fun to listen to. <laughs> but you were like, "That's not pleasant at all." Um, ripping paper is is um, it's, it's fun actually to rip paper. It is. We should just have a whole podcast of that. It's called "Get Ripped" with uh, No Mitch and Super Tender Boy. Get ripped. Get ripped. <laughs> That's it. That's what it's called. Um, and then if you guys are playing along at home, get out a piece of paper and just uh, rip it with us. Beautiful. The most amazing. I think we should just have a segment on this that's just ripping paper or ripping ripping a bunch of different things that are easily rippable, like lettuce. You can rip lettuce, right? Yeah, lettuce. What's other lettuce? things that you can rip? Yeah, um, lettuce. Like le leaves of lettuce. I'm thinking like fruit. Like, have you ever like taken a citrus fruit and just like grabbed it and just like tore it in half? It's like so satisfying. No, I've never taken like a haven't? lemon or like an orange. Yeah, like a soft, like yeah, like a soft fruit that uh, has like soft insides and just like tore it. No, but now that you say that, that sounds like it would be very fun with a kiwi. Cause those Ooh. are super soft and fluffy. I but mean, fuzzy. They, fluffy. those might just be a juicy mess. Is okay, what I'm so is about. it not a juicy mess when you do it with a lemon? It is, but like <laughs> you know how they they naturally divide themselves into sections to like plant separately. 
you know, like a slice of it. A kiwi is a solid like mass, like and it's I, also really mushy. So yes. it wouldn't like splurt out like a lemon. It's like trying to tear a potato in half, you know? I think I've done that before. I have done that. I've like broken it in half. I haven't like ripped it. Oh. Well, yeah, I suppose if it's hard and yeah, uncooked, then it probably snaps maybe. Yeah, it does snap. It's pretty pretty satisfying. Well, uh that's going to be the next episode. So everybody stay tuned for uh fruit and vegetable ripping. Uh we're we're stopping no more no special, no no more music, anything like that. We're we're just ASMR fruit ripping. Yeah, yeah. So, uh basically, we're going to turn up the the volume on our uh, on our microphones and I'm going to say rip headphone users <laughs> it's a pun i'm glad you actually appreciated that one for once uh <laughs> rip headphone users and then we we uh we turn that gain up to like 50 and we just tear a bunch of fruit a bunch of fruit it's just it just sounds like <laughs> it's just a bunch of explosion sounding sounds but trust us it's it's uh it's ripping fruit and paper and all the things that you've wanted to rip in your uh most amazing ripping desires yeah okay <laughs> Yeah, well, there was think, just a long silence that you said, uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Well, I, I just realized that this was from the segment of ASMR, and I was like, hold on, how did we get to this? But I need to stop thinking that, because that's very common occurrence on the podcast. Yeah, it, yeah, just, just just let it go. If you're ever wondering, there's, where did this come from, uh, then just, just, just uh, let it go. Uh, speaking of which, actually, when having conversations, do you ever just wonder how you got to this conversation because like if you are having a conversation with multiple people like five people and you're talking about one thing now and then you just like step back and then think about what you were talking about five minutes ago it's something entirely different yes and then it's fun to like like start from the bottom of like where you started the conversation and then like slowly make your way up to see where and you are now work your way back there like yeah. by associating the different subjects uh-huh have you ever done that before yes i have yeah it's it's really interesting uh there was once that i remember it was like we were in a car uh it was on a road trip and then all of a sudden i just realized hold up we were talking about gymnastics and now we're talking about hamburgers and then I was just, like, reconstructing it in my head. And I was like, now nah, that makes sense. <laughs> so, like, sometimes you just think about it and it doesn't make sense at first. And then you just think about it and then it's like, oh, yeah, that does kind of make sense. But it's still weird. But, yeah, it's it's interesting how tangents can go and start completely different conversations. And then they the tangents themselves become the conversation. Like, it's happening right now. And it, it keeps things interesting, and that's why we get stuck on certain things. Is because once we find a subject that doesn't get boring and we know a lot about, we just don't stop ever. Don't wow um, ne- ever yikes ever no no it goes on forever. Remember episode three? The literally like go on YouTube. The length it just has an infinity sign. Oh, it does. Yeah, you're right. I see that right here. Probably. Yeah. Um, <laughs> episode. Why do you pick episode three of all the episodes? Cause I, cause someone mentioned episode three to me the other day, and they're like, "That's when, that's when you're, you're the cockiest." And I was like, "Really?" And then I go back to the episode. I'm like, "Oh my gosh, I was." What was that episode? Uh, you I, mean, I, you personally, or ev- I think like we both, both were. Well, I th- probably when I came back. Yeah. I let me. Yeah, let's. I'll go to my channel. I that? directly to. I have a shortcut to my channel uh episode three leave when you're bored that's the that's the top one top result yeah leave when you're bored huh what do we talk about malcolm spencer creating a low budget oh channel networks making money on youtube oh yeah yeah. that's what we Mm -hmm. talked about i think that was our main point there yeah okay now i now i that makes sense yeah yeah which I've, I, what I've found funny is that uh, in the description of the podcasts, like, your custom beacons has been in the description, like, four times of all of the podcast episodes, uh, and link the description if you haven't seen it yet. So, it's going to be in this one, too. So, you're welcome. 
Such Custom beacons song. will never die, and it will always no. live on in our hearts. Stop. I don't want that video to be... I want it to die off. I want it to become irrelevant. Mo Mojang, remove beacons from the game. That way, there's no reason anyone would search for the video. No, Just no, no. No, Tendo, what you don't realize is if they remove beacons... They're gonna have to find out how to make their own beacons. No. And so it'll e it'll redirect even more traffic to your channel. <laughs> so <laughs> you don't you don't want you don't want that to happen. Trust me. Trust me. Uh. <laughs> you didn't even think of that, did you? I didn't. You gotta take in all of the variables, Tendo. Okay. So it's smart. It's weird. It's also kind of relaxing if you get in the right mindset. Um link the description to the first one that I had ever listened to. It was like stickers. They're like rip stickers off. And then it was really weird because they were like reviewing the stickers and they're like, oh, this artwork is pretty great. But I didn't... It's, it's very weird. Link in the description to that. Our next topic is is the association game. No, which it's not. You, we we already the, covered it. Well, you briefly explained it and you said we should do it on the podcast. So explain the rules. I don't know them. Oh, the oh goodness, the association game? Well, yeah. I was actually going to bring it up and start playing when we were talking about it, but then we veered off, and I was like, well, I guess we're done with that subject. Well, um, you no, did say we should play game. it sometime on the podcast, and yeah. now yeah, yeah. this so is that's, the podcast. We set aside a time now. Uh, the association game is a game where, well, I suppose it could be phrases, but you have words, and then you say one, and then you say another. the next person says another word that's associated with it. Or, oh, so it's just words? Or it could just... be, I don't know. Okay. You could probably play it however you want. That's just how I played it. It's just a single word, and then, or I guess if it's, if two words are necessary, like they go together or whatever, and then you just continue either back and forth, or if you have a group of people, who knows? Maybe there's other rules. Maybe there's a more advanced version, whatever. It's just fun to see where you can go, and sometimes... You can pick a goal where you want to go. Like, you can start at, um, goodness, let's see. You can talk about certain, like, building materials, and the goal is to reach Bill Gates, like, or something like that. You try to pick, like, I don't know, whatever. We, we don't have to do that. We can just say words. Like, we're going to start right now with, um, wait, wait, a word I now. think... I think I think we should definitely have a goal so this doesn't go on literally forever because it no, can. Need... Okay, <laughs> so our goal is going to be one moment. Random word generator. Oh. Okay, <laughs> our word is actually there's two words. You can either choose from paste or ditch. Paste. I love paste. Paste. Okay, paste. we're going to. Okay, we're actually gonna. Start with or end with paste, and we're gonna start with the word ditch. Okay. Okay. And you uh, may start. Road. Sidewalk. Bike. Vehicle. Wheels. Treads. Tanks. Cannons. Story. Book. Tree. Is that tree is related to book. Sorry. Oh, because it's made of paper. No, no, no. I just no, no paper, paper. We're gonna go with paper. Paper. Pulp. Um. <laughs> I, oh, orange juice. Sticky. Adhesive. Tape. Repair. Wrench. Drill. Screw. A lever. Button. Uh. Phone. Call. Uh. Talking. Conversation. Tangents. Limb. Oh. Uh. Tree. <laughs> We've already been to tree. No, you said paper. Tree. No, it's bush. Trim. Uh, hair. Head. Hair do. Hair gel. Paste. There it is. Like paste that you put in your hair. Wow, uh, that was. I I was trying to get you to say them like three times. There's three times that I was like, you can get this. I know, you I know. can get this. You I was giving you paste. I, I know, you gave me, uh, what was it, pulp, and I, I pulp. knew you wanted me to go paste, and I was yeah. like, nope, not going to do it that easy. You could have just generated two more words to play again. And then, what was, the, and then what was the other one? Um, ditch and paste. Oh, okay, yeah, 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 we started to, okay. Uh, yeah, that was not great. 
Um, it's fine. I'll should... edit out all of the silences. Okay. And then it'll I'm just thinking... be rapid fire. Yeah, we try to lightning round it sometime. Like, lightning without round Without editing. It? Just like boom, Lightning boom, round boom, 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 right boom. now. Right First now? thing that pops into your head. Yes. Okay. I will start with two words. We need to get to guaranteed and start with fatal. Death. Resurrection. Uh, devil. Doom. Uh, shooting. Gun. Uh, bullets. Uh, metal. Uh, b building. Falling. Uh, destruction. War. Uh, never changes. Never changes? Um... Uh Satisfaction. S satisfaction? Yes. Guarantees? There it is. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> I was like, so the satisfaction never ends? I don't know. I don't know how you got never ends from war, but hey. Oh, it never changes is what I mean. Oh, never changes. Whatever. Satisfaction guarantee never changes. Um... <laughs> Yeah, there you go. Satisfaction guaranteed. <laughs> Whatever. I don't know. Whatever. Beautiful. Um, so this is going to be a shorter podcast, definitely. But uh, the last subject that I want to talk about is something that I learned about four days ago. And I was going to mention it on, like, uh, on Wednesday when we re started recording this, but I didn't. And it is PodCon. I don't know if you've ever heard of it unless you watch um, Hank Green or the Vlogbrothers just in general. But I, you've, I have not. What? I have not. I've never heard of PodCon. Okay, so PodCon, uh, you've obviously heard of VidCon, right? Yes. Okay, so VidCon can I is... I assume... This is a, yes, this is you a can convention. assume. It is a convention, yes. Okay, so that's the link. It's the Indiegogo campaign. Um, it is a convention similar to VidCon as opposed to... But instead of videos for VidCon... It is podcasts, and I was like, hey, I want to go to this. I have a podcast, and so I don't know. It would be kind of cool, uh, so I don't know if I should go to this or not. It's in Seattle, which is really close to where I live, so, like, should I go for it? Should I not? Yes. I should. Should I, I go and represent both of us? Yes. Okay. Yes. It's in December. Um. Okay, let's see if... If we could make this happen and have both of us there, that would be amazing. Um, I don't know how feasible that would be. It's $90 a ticket, which is the starting price if you support them on Indiegogo. Um, so, I don't know. If everyone demands it, like the two listeners that we have, I don't know. Do you think we should try to make this happen? I can start saving money now. It's a Friday. The December 9th is a Friday. The December it's a 10th Friday. is... A uh, is a Saturday, of course. So it is a Friday and a Saturday. Worst case scenario, you miss one day of school. But the thing is, airfare is expensive. So I'm just yeah. saying, this would be an awesome opportunity. And I think it would be fun. Um, mm -hmm. But if you can't go, I think I might just go for it. Yeah, I I say, yeah, if I can't, I, I think you should, should go. And if you want me to pay for half of, of your ticket or backing or whatever... Oh gosh, no, absolutely not. You're already paying for half of the the price of per month now. So yeah, but we're going to get I I guess, I don't know. I don't know. It it would be representing both of us. I guess it wouldn't be the most um, outrageous thing for you to pay half of it, but I don't know. I if you wouldn't be going, I don't think that would be fair. Um I guess. listeners, if you guys think that we should go to this podcast thing, I don't know. I think it would be cool. He thinks it would be cool. Unfortunately, he has a busy schedule. But if we can somehow make this happen, we should try to. Um, money is kind of an issue for a lot of reasons because I don't have a job. I need to get on that, though. But, yeah, I think it would be fun to go. Uh, it's at least an interesting thing that if you guys like like to go, then go for it. Uh, if this ends up happening and we both go or if neither of us go... But if both of us go, um, we will do a meetup, right? Does that sound like something that we could do? Maybe. We're, we have such a small fan base, nobody's going to be there, but pff, it's fine. It's fine. I might just chop this whole PodCon bit out. 
of the podcast. Hey, nah, 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 nah. We can. I think it's something worth mentioning. It's an interesting yeah. subject to talk about real life meetups and mm-hmm. going places and th- the problems with it. Okay. Yes. So depending on how big we end up getting, I don't know how long we're going to be doing this. I want to be doing this for a very long time, but I don't know how feasible that would be to do this well, podcast. It's, so it's a tiny like amount of time out of, uh, you know, the grand you, scheme of things. Yeah. 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 So as long as we have this this short amount of time um, throughout our lives, no matter how busy it is, it should be pretty easy to find you know an hour or two to to work something out like this. It's yeah, um, and and then plus the extra you know work that you have to go through um, yep. with editing and stuff. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, well, if even if this podcast, I think this is a good time to just talk about the future of this podcast. Where do we want to go with this podcast? Because right now it's just us like talking about things, and it's 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 very fun and very entertaining for us. And I hope for you guys, the listeners, is also inter- entertaining for you, and uh, hopefully gives you some things to think about when we talk about more serious things, or something to laugh about when we make jokes and stuff. So, what is our main our main uh, goal for this podcast? Do you think? Um, just as a whole, I mean. I mm, I don't know. Like cuz right now my goal is just to just have fun with it and grow as a as a speaker. And mm-hmm. it, if I could entertain some people too, then then why not? Um Yes. But like as far as the long term goes, I don't know. Mm-hmm. I don't know what the goal of the podcast is. My personal goal for this podcast is to entertain people and provide them with something that they can, uh, like, listen to while doing mundane tasks such as doing homework uh, or or anything like washing dishes. That's when I listen to my podcast, and it's always a good distraction from doing mundane things. So I think my personal goal for this podcast is to keep people entertained through things that... Um, aren't normally entertaining for people like doing the dishes and something to keep them keep their minds thinking Uh, so that that's that's a good goal that i have for this podcast and i'm glad that at least malcolm spencer uh he said quote uh that the episode had a lot of uh food for thought he said but nothing quite for him to comment on but that was it was cool that his his brain got working and whatever and things to think about uh, either minute things or big things like self-driving cars. I think that if we can challenge people's brains and still keep them entertained, I think that's a good goal to have for this. Yeah. And, and, uh, in regards to meetups that may or may not happen, depending on our fan base and how big that gets, I, I don't know how that would ever end up happening because we are but young humans i just turned 16 um like when we recorded this three days ago so i don't have much in my ability i don't know we we were talking about how how easy it is to or at least i was uh comparing how easy it should be to keep this podcast going and if it means that we have to to work around it have other people help um, you know, set aside specific times, then sure. But if we could keep this going for a few years, like mm-hmm. which is a long time, obviously, and I've never managed to keep anything. Well, my YouTube channel, but eh, that's arguable. Yeah, that's um, what I was gonna say. Even my YouTube channel hasn't isn't like as I'm not as active as I used to be in my YouTube channel, and neither of you are you. So that's. No as you said, arguable, but yeah, I definitely think this is something that will be good for us to keep up. And I think that it's something that can be easily done. Yes. And I hope that it goes for years, not like three, th- 30 years, actually maybe 30 years. I don't 30 know. Years. I, 30 years. Yes. 30 years. We have to make it to at least 126. No. What was it? 100. 
like 104, 124 episodes, right? That's what it was. By episode like 124, yeah. we promised to do something. Make a video game. That's what it was. We promised to make a video game. Yeah, so if this keeps going for for two years, then there's going to be an official No Mention Super Tender Boy podcast video game. Super Tender Boy podcast? Oh, please. Please. This is the No Mention Super Tender Boy podcast. Please. Don't try to take all the credit. I wasn't. I was saying an official no- Nomage and Super Tendo Boy pod. Yeah, we have it on recording, please. I know what you're trying to do. Who's being cocky now? Episode 7. Look at that. Whoever I... t- told him that before. You're speechless. <laughs> I'm joking. Okay. I'm joking. You're fine. I. <sighs> you just probably just slipped up. You're fine. I'm... I was making a joke off your... Uh, in... But it is mine. Oh gosh, man, he's taking the podcast now. Okay, sorry, well, Noah. I'm out. Peace. Well, watch, watch me flail for for uh, the first two episodes, trying to work together visuals and editing, and then give it back because it's too much work. <laughs> yeah, and and you recording the entire episode yourself. Um, oh my gosh, I couldn't Weird. even imagine you doing that. I don't. I think if you were doing this yourself. You would probably just give up, and it wouldn't go for years on end. No, but it, it would last for maybe two episodes, and it would descend into Meeson real quick. Yeah, yeah. It's just going to turn into uh, Super Tender Boy's Meeson Tales. That's what it is. That's what it's going to be. <laughs> Let's think there would be like a fever dream. Anyway, um, th- so that's not happening. That's but not hopefully happening. it going on for years will happen. Yeah, I find that this is very therapeutic in a way, and like cathartic to just yeah talk about anything we want, and then releasing it to the world and people re- giving us feedback. It's always Definitely. great, and Definitely. uh, I've been kind of advertising it in my real life to friends I know, so I've been telling them listen to my podcast. So I've gotten a few people to listen to it, but. Yeah, yeah, me too. Nice. So. Look at us. Beautiful. Ooh. We're so great. Um, And I think this is a short episode, but I definitely think it's a solid end because we don't have any more subjects to talk about. However, uh, there's one more thing that I would like to bring up, and that is uh, at the end of every episode or maybe at the beginning, just some time to thank all the patrons or patrons that sort of support us on Patreon. Um Obviously, Malcolm Spencer, we thanked him at the beginning, but I'm just going to say thank you to you guys. Um, and if there's ever anything that you want to us to say at the end of episode, I'm talking to you patrons or anybody who sort supports us on Patreon. We can say like a little message, a little thank you. As I said, remember when I said earlier in the episode, just saying thank you is like completely useless. It has to have meaning. But w- what I want you guys to know is that we are seriously thankful for your donation to us because it yes. really helps keeping it uh monthly so because without without paying for the libsyn we're we're not able to have the podcast on things like itunes and every audio format that there is there would only be youtube but yeah we are seriously thankful and appreciate every donation that we get so wow beautiful and uh, on that note, I have a corny joke for for everyone. Yes. Yep. You seem Wait excited now. It. I or know. You... Yeah. Last time I was dreading it, but you've Side come to face. accept it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hmm. Okay. Joke number three: What kind of horses go out after dark? I don't know. No, tell me. Nightmares. I think you just realized why you had dreaded it before. Mm Mm-hmm. I do condone overage drinking because alcohol is delicious.